All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, Responsive Web Design, Learn Intermediate CSS by Building a Cat Painting, Step 59. All right. So using a descendant selector, we're going to give the two div elements inside the div with class cat mouth. What? Oh, using the a descendant selector, we're going to select the two div elements inside the div with class cat mouth. And then we're going to give it a width of 30 pixels, a height of 50 pixels, and a border of 2px solid black. All right. So if you're anything like me, you forgot how to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and say uh, CSS descendant selector like that, right? And uh, the Mozilla site, no good. I mean, it just doesn't tell us too easily. Oh, yeah, maybe it does. Look, so we're going to do selector one and then space selector two, where selector one is the, uh, the one above it, and then selector two is the one below it. So since we're going through uh, cat mouth. Since we're going through this, hold on. Since we're going through this one right here, we're going to say, hold on. We're going to say here, uh, dot cat hyphen mouth. And since they're both divs, as we can see right here, both of these are divs, we can just say space div like that. And then we'll just come over here with the uh, curly braces and we'll say width is now 30 pixels, pardon me. And then we'll give it a height of 50 pixels. And then we'll give it a border of 2px solid black like this. All right. And we can't really see it that well, so I'll just change this to red just for this part. Uh, we'll say red right here. And we'll see that it made these uh, little boxes right over here on the other side where the triangle was and where everything pretty much shows up on this thing. So let's change this back to uh, black. So it's like that again. Let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 60 and we'll see you next time.